how to buy crypto using Binance P2P in Kuwait. The whole idea of Binance P2P is that you can buy or sell crypto directly with domestic bank transfers between you and any other person in your country. We see a lot of regulations to make it more difficult for the average person to buy crypto, especially in countries with a very tight control which is the case in this video. The good news is that your government can try to control all they want, but in the end, it does not matter, as long as you have access to a bank account. Now, does it take some effort to set up your Binance P2P? Yes, it does. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Once you're all set, it will take literally two minutes to buy or sell with the best rates anytime you want. You can even make easy profit buying low and selling high, so get your coffee and snacks ready and let's dive in. Okay, so before we begin, you will need four things. A local bank account, a working phone number for SMS verification, a Binance account, sign up with the link in the description to get a 10% discount for life. A document to verify your identity. It can be an ID card, passport or driving license. Step 1. Click on the link below and sign up on Binance. Step 2. You will need to verify your identity with a document. It's a quick online process that should not take more than a few minutes. Once you're verified, make your account safe with two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator app on your phone. If you went through all that, congratulations! Now it starts to get easy. Mouse over Trade and select P2P. Then select your currency. I will actually trade now to show you guys exactly how it works. I will be using PLN for my country, but the process will be exactly the same with your currency. You can see that I already did ID verification and now it will ask for SMS verification. I will just click here and fill this out. Now let's click send code and fill with the SMS you will receive. Same thing for email, click send code and type in the code you receive on your email. Finally, complete the last step with the Google Authenticator on your phone and click Submit. Almost there guys, now we just need to fill our payment method. Click here and more for all payment methods available. For the best experience, try to pick one that is free and fast to transfer. Usually that will be your bank account or any other local payment method that you like. If needed, you can also add more than one method. Let's fill the information with our bank account when you're done, it will ask again for another security verification with SMS or two-factor authentication. Finally, our payment method is added and now we can start trading. Here you can choose which crypto you want to buy. There is BTC, which is Bitcoin and others, but I always recommend using USDT for the best price. USDT is a stablecoin, so you know exactly how much is it worth and it won't change the price during the transaction. Once you have USDT, you can trade it into any cryptocurrency you want. Don't use Express as you have no control over who you are trading with. And always choose a user with a very high completion rate. Now we should find a good offer. When the prices are too attractive, comparing to the other offers, it's best to avoid and pick someone reliable instead to avoid any potential problems. On Overview, you can see all your crypto in one page. To transfer to and from your P2P wallet, just click on transfer. Now I have USDT on my P2P wallet and I'm going to sell to my bank account. My bank is Millennium and the actual value is 3.84, so I'm gonna sell at a higher price than the real exchange rate. As you can see, the user has many orders with a high completion rate, so I will sell to him. Always read their description and if you agree with the terms, input the amount in USDT. So this is what I will receive in PLN, which is my currency, on my bank account. The payment method is already selected for me, so I will place the order. Now my order is placed and the buyer will send the money to my bank account. Fast forward one minute and he confirmed he made the payment. Now I will go to the bank app on my phone and verify if the exact amount has arrived. Sure enough, the money was there and only then we will click confirm release so that the buyer have access to the USDT that I just sold. Here we have a final two-factor authentication and voila, it's all done. If you click on orders, you can see all your completed orders using the Binance P2P. Of course, this was me selling, so if you're buying, you will be on the other side of the trade we just did. Some important things to keep in mind. The person sending the money is the one responsible for any transfer fees that may incur. 
always deposit the exact amount as fast as you can. If you are the buyer, double check the account number and carefully send the money to their bank account. I use the computer for our example, but Binance P2P is also available on the Binance app on your phone. Once you made the payment, click the button to confirm that you send them the money. The other person will verify that the money is in their account and release the coins for you. If the buyer or seller won't release the money, Binance will act as a mediator, so you always have a safety net if something goes wrong. If you follow all the steps correctly, you should never have any issue using Binance P2P. Well done, your account is now ready. Whenever you want to buy or sell crypto, it will take only 2 minutes using the Binance P2P with zero fees. Once you complete 10 transactions, you will be able to create your own offers for other people to accept. This way you can buy at lower rates and sell higher for easy profit. While Binance does not charge any fees for using their P2P service, Trading fees still apply on Binance when trading on your spot account. Get a verified 10% discount by signing up on Binance with the link below. If you already have an account, you can also create a new one with a different email. And that's all you need to know to start buying and selling crypto on Binance P2P. If this video has been helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more Binance tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.